So Fabi, how do you prepare differently for tournaments like Norway Chess compared to the candidates, which you, of course, just played? Yeah, there's going to be a lot less prep for a tournament like this because the stakes are a little bit lower, even though it's just as strong or arguably even stronger uh, because Magnus is playing. And here we also have like a little bit different of a format, less classically oriented, still with classical chess in mind, but, but with the Armageddon, it's like a little bit different. And uh, what are the differences in your approach to classical, blitz, rapid, and Armageddon, I suppose? Yeah, I think between like classical and blitz and rapid, there's a huge gap in terms of how you have to approach it. And then between rapid and blitz, it's kind of similar. Like you're playing a little bit more intuitively and you're trying to get positions you're comfortable with. While in classical, you're almost always trying to play the best move. And how do you balance your analytical style with the need for creativity in chess? Uh, I, I think in general, I'm a creative player. Like I, I try to think or not even I try, but just naturally, I, I think I come with some unusual solutions to problems sometimes. So very often I'm calculating a lot of options and this can take more time. But yeah. my style has changed over time. I think it, it's less calculation heavy than it was, let's say, 10 years ago. And this is the first tournament of this level where the Open and the Women's section have the same format and same prize fund. Do you think this will encourage more women to play chess? I think that it's very good for the professional women chess players. I mean, I, I think that it's a very good thing. And we see many of the best women in the world playing here. So I think that's very good. And my final question is, what is your favorite thing about Norway chess? Uh, Savanger is probably my most visited chess city. And yeah, I, I love the nature. Uh, it's a beautiful place. Um, and um, in terms of the chess portion of it, I, it's one of the only tournaments I can think of where they have classical followed by Armageddon. Well, thank you very much and good luck for the rest of the tournament.